Hey everyone, Mike here from ArnoldTutoring.com with an error propagation video. Um, here, basically what happens in these questions is it's showing that if you make an error in sort of the unit of measurement for any particular shape, usually it's a ge geometry focus question, then as you sort of move um, up a level, so from the unit to the area to the volume, that error that you had at the unit level or the single measurement level gets propagated, right? It gets more, um, more magnified. So you don't want to make an error early on because while it may seem small at the time, once it becomes, you know, uh, propagated, it can be a real issue, which is just why things like airplanes, for instance, um, you can't be off by a single millimeter when you know carving out one of the wings or something because it gets so big that that error gets carried through and can be really detrimental so what are we trying to do here well we're trying to see we've got how accurately the radius of a circle can be measured it can be measured to within five percent of its actual um, measurement or its actual length and we want to know with what percentage of accuracy can the area be measured okay so that's going to be really important but first let's look at our general derivative definition. We say that y prime equals delta y over delta x. All that means is y prime we know is the derivative which is the slope and this is the slope formula, the change in y over the change in x. I'm going to multiply delta x up to the left side so I'm going to get delta x times y prime equals delta y and then I'm just going to switch the side so delta y on the left equals I'm going to say y prime times delta x this is the key formula that we want for all error propagation questions. Now, let's take this a little bit further, even before we start to, to deal with the question. Let's take this a little bit further and say um, delta y equals y prime delta x. We'll write it down here so that we can clearly see how we're going to replace each of these. Um, now, back to the question we're dealing with area of a circle so we're always going to need a formula for the thing that we're dealing with a equals well we know it equals pi r squared okay but we're dealing with y's and x's over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two variables in this equation which are a and r and I'm going to say alright a is the area that depends on the radius so I'm going to call my y my a and my radius will now go as x just so that I can relate it back to this formula Okay, so we've got what y equals. Uh, we can see there's a y prime in here, so I'm also going to differentiate this. And the 2 comes down, pi x. Great. Okay, so we've got what y equals, we've got what y prime equals. Now let's think about what we're trying to find. We are trying to find the percentage with, within, um, er, within how accurate uh, y can be measured. So percentage... Uh, percentage accuracy of something is the change from the actual to the estimate over the actual. In other words, it's the change in y over y. Right? The change in y is just the movement away from y, and that movement represents the error in our measurement. So all I've done here is I've taken the left side and I've divided it by y. So we have to do the same to the right side as well. Again, I, this is a very important step right here. If it's asking for a percentage of accuracy, you can't just do delta y alone. It's got to be delta y over y because you need that change as a percentage of the whole. Now we're ready to um, drop both of these guys in. So we know we've got delta y here on top still over y. I'll just leave that. I don't need to replace that because we know that's what we're looking for. But on the right side, I'm going to replace y prime with 2 pi x. Delta x is just delta x. And y equals pi x squared. Okay, we know we're looking for the left side, so that can stay the same. What happens on the right here? Well, the pi cancels. The pi cancels. One of the x's on the bottom cancels with the x on the top. And we're left with 2 delta x over x. Awesome. Why is that awesome? Because we know that our radius, which is our x value, 
can be measured within 5%, which means that delta x over x, remember that's the percentage, is 0 0.05. So delta y over y, this has just come down from the beginning since I forced it in, equals 2 times 0 0.05, which is 0 0.10, which is 10%. Again, the key step there to get to this final answer of 10% of accuracy on the area, the key step is right here where we knew we wanted the change in y or the, the mismeasurement in y in terms of uh, absolute numbers divided by y on its own because when we take the difference in something divided by the total, that gives us a percentage change and we're asked for percentage change. Then you just sub in what you've already designated for y and y prime based on changing your area and radius variables to y and x. I know these questions seem complicated, but if we keep, we always go straight to this formula to start, and then if it asks for a percentage accuracy, we always go to this one. Hopefully that was helpful. You can always send us more questions like this. Info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks so much.